how to solve quadratic simultaneous equations in 173 seconds. Let's go. This is definitely one of the hardest topics in the course, guys. Let's have a look. It asks us to solve y equals x squared plus 6x plus 7 and y equals x plus 1. What are we going to do? Well, here we have a quadratic simultaneous equations question. Why? Because we're given two equations which have two unknowns. We have an x and a y to work out, but this time we can see that we have an x squared in one of our equations. And what that means is that we're actually going to get two values for x and two values for y. Now, the best way to do this is going to be to substitute one of our equations, normally our linear one, into our other equation, our quadratic one. Now, how do we do that? Well, our second equation tells us that the value of y is equal to x plus 1. And our first equation tells us that the value of y is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 7. Now, if that's true, then it has to be the case that our x plus 1, which is equal to y, is equal to x plus 6 x squared, sorry, plus 6x plus 7. Why? Because that's also equal to y. So what we can actually say is we can say that x squared plus 6x plus 7 is equal to x plus 1. Why? Because they're both equal to y. Now, this is actually a quadratic equation which we can solve. Why? Because we've gotten rid of all of our y's. So we're going to move our x and our 1 over to the other side by taking both of those away. What are we going to get? We're going to get x squared plus 5x because we took away x, plus 6 because we took away 1, is equal to 0. Now, guys, how are we going to solve this quadratic? We could either factorize it, use the formula, or complete the square. We're going to factorize it. We're going to need two numbers which multiply to give 6, add to give 5. They're going to be 3 and 2, so we can write this as x plus 3 times by x plus 2. That's going to be equal to 0. Now, finding our two values for x, x is going to be equal to minus 3 in the left-hand side case, so we have x equals minus 3, or in the right-hand case, x is going to be equal to minus 2. Now, we haven't actually finished y because we haven't found our corresponding values for y. So how are we going to do that? We're going to sub each of our values of x into our uh, one of our original equations. We're going to choose y equals x plus 1 because that one's going to be the easiest, and that is going to give us our final answers, guys. Let's get it done. So let's say when x is equal to minus 3, y is going to be equal to, we know it's equal to x plus 1, so we can say it's going to be minus 3 plus 1. What's the value of minus 3 plus 1? That's going to be minus 2. So one of our answers is going to be when x equals minus 3, y equals minus 2. What about our last one then? We're going to have when x equals minus 2 y is going to be equal to minus 2 plus 1, which is going to be minus 1, guys. So we now have our two pairs of answers. We have when x equals minus 3, y equals minus 2, and when x equals minus 2, y equals minus 1. That, guys, is how to solve quadratic simultaneous equations.